Our geocache clue said hole in three in the pet cemetery. Okay, so this is the, the pet cemetery. And we're actually just gonna leave it to do the hole in three challenge. So this thing is a disc golf challenge. So the diffs, the disc golf. Oh, and I got back to the pet cemetery by accident. So let's see, where do I go? Let's see. Disc maybe number one? Here's one. Okay, number two. Is this number three? No, this is number two. So where's number three? It's gotta be here. Hole in three in the disc disc golf place. Go around and check the back side. The clue says continue to the left of the tree with the red marking in the blueberry loop. Okay, back to blueberry loop. The blueberry loop was where we got the clue about the pet cemetery. So I have to go to the pet cemetery and leave specifically there. Blueberry loop. So I already forgot what that clue was. Do so I go to the right or left with the red marking. How did I forget that? I, I Because I was expecting it to be in my inventory and it wasn't. It's not. Okay, yeah. Left at the red marking. Now we have this new pathway that we've never seen before. Totally new. And let's see. The geocache appears to be here. Under the rusty statue. Okay, so that's back at the pet cemetery. We had a rusty statue. What's this? Cool looking area, I guess. And that was the uh, thing we saw earlier. Whoop, wrong way. Run. Run forward. It looks like these two pathways intersect. This is one we saw earlier, right? This is, yeah, okay. Got it. Woo! Okay, Pet Cemetery, Rusty Statue. It's near like the hole in two, I think. You might not have noticed it. Because I did not point it out. I didn't think it was important. Let's see, it's to the left or to the right? Here it is, Rusty Statue. Look under it. Congratulations on completing the station. Write your name at the back of the board with the map. I don't have to worry about that. I'm not actually doing a, a geocaching thing, so I don't actually want to write my name on the uh, pet cemetery thing. And here we go. We just got a message from our friend Jonas, who's gonna help us with the problem we had right before we got, you know, distracted with this geocache. So our problem was, uh, this thing's broken. It's totally broken, and Jonas can help us. Jonas. Hi, Jonas. Carol. You're dazzling today. Jonas, you're as handsome as ever. As you know, I've been helping out on this excavation site. We're looking for objects from the Iron Age. So, that's where you found random wine material? Actually, yes. We've come across minerals, so uh, they've started drilling on the site. And for drilling, they use bentonite. And that can also be used for clearing wine. So I put some away for you. This sounds really weird, but okay, thank you so much, Jonas. I'll, I'll make sure you drink some of the wine once it's finished. So how do you fix computer cards, dude? I I'll see what I can do. I was going to ask you for one thing too. Objects have been disappearing from the excavation site. Valuable objects. And it's always on the same guy's shift. I want you to look into this guy and see if you can find something compromising. Can I find him? He's staying temporarily with one of the girls at the site. She's lent me the key. And he won't be home for a few days now. Gee, I wonder where he is. If he's just gonna be gone for a few days. Like, 
I can't just all of a sudden leave town for a couple of days. I don't know where I would go anyway, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like a uh, full-time job. This room is the one on the left. This room is the one on the left, so we need to find... Ah, puzzle. Okay, so this is a puzzle. So the socks are uh, pink, gray, yellow, blue, orange. Pink, gray, yellow, blue. Baggage removal, okay, code 1970, that's locker A05, 1970, opens up this person's sneaky locker. How do I escape? Oh, where's the front door? No, seriously, where is it? Maybe I need to look. There's the door, okay. Now I've forgotten the code. Uh, okay, what? Whoa. She's gone off her shift now. Nope, she just take. Stina is taking a break. Not now. Oh my gosh. W what do I do? So I need to check the basket in the first floor room. Apparently I forgot that. Okay. Check the, the trash can. Okay. I don't see a trash can. Tells us where the uh, train station is. Okay, okay, okay. We've got a train station thing at like 1 a.m. in the yeah, 1 a.m. in the morning. Very suspicious. I believe we 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 went to the train station in an earlier uh, Carol Reed game. I guess you just forgot where it is. Okay, what's inside here? Yep. Valuable objects. That person has definitely been stealing valuable objects. We got proof. Jonas, Jonas, your co-worker is a criminal. You're indispensable. I'm going straight to the police with this. Yes. So did you look at the computer card? Oh yes, it's working again now. It just needed some saliva. That's gross, Jonas. You licked it. Yuck. It's gross. I don't want to touch it now. You. Well, it's gonna fix Kivo's like computer thing, so let's let's fix it. Do 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 do. Okay, Kivo, you have been a member of GA for two years, according to his brother. Okay, he's a member of GA. Let's ask his brother. What is this? What's GA? Yeah, what's that? That's Gamblers Anonymous. It's an organization for people with gambling problems. And somehow I know the address. Thank you! Yeah, it, it surprises me. Carol can look up where Gamblers Anonymous is, but she can't look up where the train station is. Well, let's check out Gamblers Anonymous. Hey, Tony! How's it going, buddy? Uh, okay, I'm checking into uh, Kivo's disappearance. You came up? I'll be happy to help you, but I can't give out certain information due to our secrecy policy. Okay, that makes sense. But do you know where Kivo is? No. I hope he hasn't done anything unsound. He's over his head in debt. Ah, oh, poor guy. So we think he had a problem when he was geocaching. Yeah. Some say that he traded one addiction for another. Except that the trade never actually happened, since he's still gambling to this day. Well, it's probably better for him to be geocaching than gambling, especially if he's racking up huge amounts of debt and it's ruined his entire life. So, where was he the last time you met him? About two weeks ago. He was just about to hide one of those caches in the Dragon Gap by the Oogle Sea. Oogle Sea. Ooh. Well, thank you for your time, Tony, my man. I hope I was of some use. You were tons of use. We're going to the Dragon Gap, everyone. We're going to go to the Dragon Gap where we're going to have another geocache puzzle. Woo! Geocache puzzles. 